Hello. Let me focus on one company called Lopez Holdings Corporation, one of my favorite companies. And just try to analyze what is going on in that company. Right now, it is uh, trading at about 11 times price per earnings. Relatively lower than the markets, 18 to 20 times price per earnings. Still, the price of uh, Lopez Holdings has suffered a huge blow ever since its peak March 2013, around 750. But still looking at the trend lines, there appears to be a reversal as the trend line appears to reverse on a positive direction in this past couple of days. We can also see that the MACD situation has turned and there is a, an indicator of a buy. A crossover happened around uh, this week signaling a buy indicator for Lopez Holdings. We can also see the relative strength index. Lopez Holdings uh, turned in an overbought scenario in the early this year and still at around 55 uh, in a very neutral zone so pretty much uh, there's still a lot of room on the upside. Going back, let us uh, just focus on the financials of uh, Lopez Holding and see why it has behaved thus. And as you can see, the net income has been in a continued downtrend. But uh, in order for us not to panic, let us focus that uh, although the last year showed a, a downtrend from uh, previous year of 4.1 billion to about 1.9 billion still looking at the revenues is still pretty much robust still the revenues continue to buy and it has not really changed significantly over the years there are also some items that are non-recurring and these items will not be around, especially the negative ones, in the next uh, reporting period. So that is pretty much of a good news for investors of uh, Lopez Holdings. So considering everything and the fact that uh, pretty much uh, Lopez Holdings is trading below the market uh, PE of 18 to 20, I still believe that Lopez Holdings is a buy for investors who are focusing more on fundamentals rather than technicals and Lopez may be a good stock for the long haul. Thank you very much.